Yo dudes, it is Blake from Green Knuckles Cross, and welcome back to another FOGO Friday. But before we get into the video, I have a few announcements to make. First off, we finally have a website. Right now on the website, you can just buy hats. You can buy this hat that I'm wearing right here, just your traditional snapback, or the Make Face Off Red Again GKL hat. So for now, we're just selling hats, but later on down the road, we'll have more merchandise available. So if you're looking to buy some cool hats, check out GreenKnucklesAcross.com. I will include the link to the website down in the description below. And I would also like to apologize for not including a Fogo Friday video last week. I am a college student, and I've been getting caught up in finals, exams, the end of the season. It's just been really chaotic and now I finally have time to make a video for this week. And as you can tell by the title of this video, we are reviewing the STX Superpower. Surprisingly enough, a good amount of people actually wanted to see a review on this head. Honestly, I didn't think anybody used this head anymore, but there's been a good amount of people who requested it. So let's get right into the video. So this is your standard STX Superpower, not the newest one with the ACP. This is the one that says 2010 on it. This seemed to be the most used version of the Superpower and luckily I had one myself. I actually used this a long time ago. I did use this for a full summer season, so it has seen a lot of reps. And as you can tell, it is kind of warped more than the usual. The way I string up this head is the same exact way I string up my duels and CEOs with the knots to the outside. Main reason why I strung it this way was not because I was afraid of these sidewall holes breaking, but because of how narrow the backside of it is from all the face off reps I've taken with it. So I put the knots to the outside of the head to prevent the ball from getting stuck. Here's a quick little 10 second segment of this head going through a flex test. I was able to get a few different angles of me facing off with it, as well as getting a few dummy stick reps in with it. So here you go. I got this thing here. Here. Okay, now on to my thoughts about facing off with an STX Superpower. First thing I noticed when facing off with the STX Superpower, it has little to no backbone. What I mean by that is there's no real strong points from the bottom to the top of the head. It just feels like it's one big noodle, no matter how I flex it, it just doesn't feel strong at all. If you're having a hard time understanding what I'm saying by that, if you ever faced off with a Ghost 7, the head has no structure to it whatsoever. It's just meant for the guy who is very quick, just trying to get his sidewall down and out as fast as possible. This is pretty much just a beefier, a little bit beefier version of the Ghost 7. I feel like the main reason why the head feels like a noodle is because of the sidewall design. This one sidewall strut that's kind of high up in the head doesn't really do a lot to keep the head sturdy, especially down by the sweet spot region. Here is a little side-by-side -side comparison between the Ghost 7 and the Superpower. You can see how these sidewall designs are very similar, and that's a huge reason why these heads have no structure to them. The fact that it doesn't have a strong throat gives you a huge disadvantage. You're not able to battle with your opponent. You're not able to slip under his head and rely on this part to be nice and strong and structured. So you can slip under, this upper portion can collapse, and you can still have a chance of getting the ball in here and pulling it out. You just don't have that with this head. So if I bend this thing back, the ball's sitting on the ball stop. No matter how hard you, you work it or you put your weight on your right hand, you're just not gonna get a piece of the ball. I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the Go 7. Ball sitting on the ball stop, kind of. <laughs> it speaks for itself. You're just not gonna get a piece of that ball if you're forced to battle with your opponent. Now some are gonna argue, and this is a valid argument, that the CEO does the same thing. It flexes forward, and it's gonna expose a lot of the ball. Now here's the difference between the suit power and the CEO. Here's the ball sitting on the ball stop. It is nice and strong below these flex points, which means it has a very structured throat. I can still have a lot of that ball while this upper portion is getting folded back. That's why a lot of people like the CEO, because it can take a lot of the impact off of the head above the flex points while the throat still stays nice and strong. So to sum up what I pretty much just said, the Superpower is just a little bit more of a structured version of the Tribe 7 Go 7. That's about it. Superpower does have a better scoop to it. It's pretty much impossible to pick up a ground ball with the Go 7, but with this head, since it is a little bit more structured, it is a little bit easier to pick up ground balls with it. Now, for those who are still using the Superpower, um, there's not a lot of guys in college that still use them, pretty much because they just fold back. Just the way we're facing off now, it's a lot more strength involved, and this head just can't keep up with all the other ones on the market now. So a good fix to using this would be to switch over to an STX dual. A lot of people that used to use these now use a dual. It's just a more structured version of this head. Flex points are kind of similar, but just a dual is a thousand times better. So with that being said, I'm not adding this to my gear bag whatsoever. I'll never take a face off with it. 
I mean, it's an option to use for face-offs, maybe for younger guys who are quicker than their opponents. Best case scenario for this head, you're absolutely dominating every face-off guy you go against. You're winning every single clamp just right off the whistle, no battles needed. Then yeah, you can use this head, just like you can use a Ghost 7. Chances are, that's not gonna be the case. You're gonna have to tie up your opponents. You're gonna be in 50-50 battles. So that's why I do not recommend facing off with this head anymore. So for those who are still using a superpower for facing off, my advice, just switch over to a duel. And that wraps up for this week's FOGO Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on the SCX superpower or any questions in general, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't already, check us out on Instagram at Green Knuckles Across and check out our brand new website at greenknucklesacross.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. Till then kids, get them